I saw all these people and I thought we had the marijuana on for the agenda. But, <laughs> but I look at the crowd, it's yeah, not the same. Crowd. It's a different crowd. Very good. Okay, Scott, we're ready. Good morning. Welcome to the January 3rd, 2017 meeting of the Lake County Board of Supervisors. I'd ask that we rise for a moment of silence. Thank you. Supervisor Comstock, would you lead us in the place? Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is our 9 o'clock item, remarks from outgoing supervisors Comstock and Farrington, and presentations and commendations there too. Um, <coughs> Jim, like sure, I'll be, I'll be glad to lead it off. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's an absolute pleasure to be here for many, many, many reasons. This, um, I started this crazy journey of uh, elected office 26 years ago. I ran for school board and uh, did that for 18 years, and then eight years ago, about today, I was doing exactly what Mo Patina are going to do today, and it has been a real pleasure. It's been an honor and a privilege. I'll probably get a little more <laughs> to serve the people of Lake County, and in particularly the people of District One. I love Lake County, and I love you people. You're very special. Serving you really, really has been an honor and a privilege to do that. Some of you liked the things I did, some didn't. But I always tried to do the right thing for, for our citizens and for the county. And uh, I really enjoyed working with the staff. We have some great, great staff. Good, good, good people to work with. Hard, hard working people. Uh, I found out how hard they worked because of all of the time that I spent working with them. And uh, it's been a pleasure working with the board members. You're a good bunch of guys, really are. Most of it. <laughs> but, but it really has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. And in this last two years, it's been just absolutely nuts with the fires and the things that we were uh, charged to do. And it was, it's nothing we would have ever asked for. I'm glad we were able to be there to do it, to to help the county get back on its feet, to help individuals get back on their feet and get moving. Now, I'm going to take a moment and just talk a little bit about Moak. Um, Moak's a pretty large presence. <laughs> and I have known Moak, had the pleasure of knowing, knowing Moak his entire life. And I am really Not pleased <laughs> with that. Not yet. But, Not yet. <laughs> entire life to this point. But uh, yeah. to have watched him grow, and he grew pretty large. To, uh, to see who he is and who he's developed, and I am really <coughs> pleased to step down and have Moke step in here. He will do a great job. I am really, really honored to have him before him. And I know his dad very, very well. His dad and I went to school together. We played sports together. I know his grandfather. His grandfather worked for my dad. So they are a great family, but obviously a wonderful history here in the county. And I am really pleased to turn the reins over to Moak. They said, an honor and a privilege to serve all of you, to serve with all of the staff members in the county and the members of the board. Thank you. It's truly been an honor and a privilege for me. Oh, I've got like 
just been a real pleasure, um, and Jim, all the, all the years, eight years, I can't believe it's been eight years already, but uh, it's been a real pleasure. And, you know, we don't see eye to eye up here, but we always get along. It seems like as soon as we're done with an item, we move on to the next one, whether we agree or disagree. And, and that's the way the whole board's been really. So it's been a pleasure, sir, and uh, I hope to see you around and doing things around. I'm not going anywhere. I know. Except I'm not going here anymore. <laughs> you might. There's a cell tower proposed by your property. <laughs> <laughs> what time is that? <laughs> Jim, I, you know, it's, uh, it, it has, eight years has gone by quick. It's like 56 years in a dog's life, so, um, you know, in this last couple of years has been a tremendous test for all of us, and especially those of us that, that live and breathe the smoke from the valley and clay fires. Um, I really appreciated working with you. Um, I can remember about nine or ten years ago telling you that this is really not much different yep. than being on the school board. When you lied to me? Yeah, when you lied to me. I remember going to Jim and saying, you should run for supervisor. It's really no different than being on the school board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you took that challenge and, and you represented your district well, and I appreciate the friendship that, that we've developed over all these years, and that it, it'll, uh, that'll definitely go on forever. Yeah, so I appreciate that very much. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Jim, I, I just want to express uh, my appreciation. The eight years have indeed gone by. Um, what, what I appreciate about you is not only your service for years of service in the school board and to the county, but to service the country. Mm -hmm. uh, you know it's a special place in my heart for any man or woman to serve our country, to uh, wear a uniform representing the United States. And, uh, I've seen you as a man of uh, integrity. I haven't always agreed with your decisions, um, as you I haven't always agreed with mine. Uh, but what I've respected the most about you, if I can focus on one thing, is that uh, it was never personal for you. That it wasn't vindictive. Uh, times where we uh, rattled each other's cages, you, you still shake my hand that same day. And that means a lot to me because uh, up here, uh, we had different personalities and beliefs and creeds, and uh, you were willing to be a man of honor and uh, respect that on each and every board member. And so I thank you for all service. Thank you. Yeah, Jim, uh, you know, I've only been up here two years, but, uh, you know, I found the same thing that everyone else has found. That is, you're an absolute gentleman, and you say it straight up. Uh, there was uh, no misunderstanding where you were coming from, and that was very easy for me to accept. And, and you were still the same way later, but you were okay if I said something different than you did. Uh, so you're a gentleman about it, and a little scholar, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have some... Some proclamations. We'll do those afterward. Yeah, so. uh, Tony. Yeah. Sure. Well, I appreciate uh, this opportunity. I'll try to be brief. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet moment for me. Uh, I don't know. It was more difficult to waking up this morning to say goodbye and stepping down or fitting in this suit that, uh, that I wore when I was first sworn in. <laughs> I think it's fitting into the suit. <laughs> But it's very important. This is a suit that my mother bought me, and she's no longer with me. Uh, so that's uh, the emotion that I feel is, I think, through the 16 years of service, um, people that I've lost, and the friends, the family, and the new friendships that I've made. Uh, but the journey's been uh, a, a, a good one, not always easy. Um, for me, and, and I touched upon this with Supervisor Comstock, and, my family uh, was a little bit of a challenge in growing up with uh, my father being lost at a young age, but he served as a Marine. My stepfather uh, served in the Army. Uh, my, my biological father was uh, served during Vietnam, my stepfather during the Korean War. I have great uncles and family members that were colonels and POWs in World War II that were in the Marine Corps. Uh, my dream and ambition was to serve the country for 20 years, um, and because of health condition, I couldn't. And my dream was to become a naval officer after I graduated from UC Davis, and it didn't happen. And I ended up back here. I want to dedicate myself uh, to the community uh, that my family's been calling home for almost 170 years. Maybe some of you don't know that. It's something I'm proud of. 
uh, my history of public service with my family, and I come in here and look at Abraham Lincoln and knowing my great-grandfather served with him uh, in the Illinois legislature as a senator and came to Lake County uh, and actually vied to be his vice presidential pick and wasn't successful and headed up the Bin uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs in here in California. Um, that service to country uh, is very important to me, uh, and at times there was decisions and advocacy that I, I hoped that I was able to promote uh, during my 16 years of service. Not always pleasant. This uh, road is bumpy. You have uh, naysayers and political detractors, and uh, anytime you take a position, it goes without saying that there's going to be people that uh, will disagree. And um, at times, uh, that disagreement unfortunately becomes personal. Uh, but I think one of the biggest gifts that I got serving this community is not only the opportunity to serve, to give back, and try to affect some change, albeit at times very incremental, is the gift of growth personally. That where uh, if somebody disagrees with me, I don't have to be disagreeable. That uh, if there's friction or if there's distrust, that quite often I learn that that's that own person's feelings. And I, I think my advice to Moke and Tina, and hopefully I don't suffer the same penance that the Supervisor Brown, because I thought Tina would be a great supervisor, and when I reached out to her, I, I, even though I have not served on the school board, I, you know, I think it's a good parallel track to step up and serve at this level, and that'll be a easy transition for her. Um, up here, it, we're individuals, but collectively we have to learn to work together. Uh, that was a learning exercise that each and every one of us has to go through. It's a trial by fire at times. Uh, but counting to three is very important to get things done. And some of the frustration that I think each board member has and new board members will have are the things that you can't get done, even though you push for it and then you fight for it and then you lose sleep for it. Um, Tina and Moke will surely undergo that experience. But don't give up. You know, Lake County is a beautiful place. Uh, and and the, 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 the message I send with the new board members and the, the, the ongoing board members is those changes never give up never feel it's a lost cause. Uh, this board had accomplished a lot of things that I was proud of, even at times when it was controversial. If we go back to when Supervisor Brown and I were first elected, we pushed the envelope to uh, put registered sex offenders on the county website and on the internet before it became law with Megan's Law. Uh, we pushed uh, a meth, uh, anti-meth ordinance that once again was somewhat contrary to state law where here locally, uh, we took pseudoephedrine and put it behind the counters and required IDs and people to sign for it. And for some of you who know, pseudoephedrine is a precursor to methamphetamines. Those were kind of things in my early years that stood out in my mind that we did that uh, went against the grain. And we continue to do so. And I think it's evident in the leadership and the bodies that were here filling these seats at the time of uh, the Valley Fire, the Jerusalem, the Rockwood Fire, and the Clayton Fires. In particular, the districts that were most greatly impacted, uh, Supervisor Comstock and Supervisor Brown. Uh, I believe we worked as a team. We were able to do the ongoing business of the county and continue to do so, uh, despite being confronted with such catastrophic events. Um, other areas that have been very important to me is water resources. Our groundwater uh, export ordinance, where we regulated that, a standalone water a resources element, um, and investing in Clear Lake, which has always been my primary focus. And at times, there have been battles that have been won, and at times, battles that have been lost. But learning to put that lake as a priority, I think, is still number one for the county. And it's something that I hope future board and this board will continue to focus on, on not give up on the fight. We've made success in mitigating nuisance weeds, getting in the lake to do things, and there's long-term visions, uh, which in congruent with the Mill Creek Restoration March, where we'll be able to re reduce nutrient loading. You know, moving forward, my, and I say this as a, as a resident and now a taxpayer and constituent only, not an elected leader, that. Uh, you know, cannabis is a reality in our community, and that our board has to figure out how to grapple with that and get past their own personal bias and stigma and figure out how to regulate uh, uh, an industry that surely is still in the dark, in my opinion, to capture revenues, to invest those revenues in our infrastructure, in our watershed, in our public safety and prosecution for those that commit crimes, and in our youth to educate them. Uh, I think it's very important, looking forward as a resident, that uh, we enforce our zoning ordinances as it relates to resorts that they don't become year-round uh, uh, um, residential facilities and that we look to actually enforce those zoning uh, regulations to help draw back and create a new vibrant tourism. Uh, collection of TOT revenues is something that I hope the board, I brought an item and I hope moving forward and our staff's working on it. The county needs revenue, so whether it be tax from cannabis, sales tax, or the rebuilding of the, the communities that have been devastated by the fires with reassessment of infrastructure and structured homes, 
Um, TOT collection is another gap that I hope that the board will look at in trying to fill to help gather those revenues and so in turn can provide the public services that are much needed. Investment <coughs> in infrastructure and uh, I'm hopeful and I see that uh, we have some city representatives here that moving forward that there will be uh, hopefully some harmony as it relates to South Main Street which has always been uh, friction for me from day one. Uh, I don't regret the positions I've taken to preserve that corridor. I believe that I've been accountable to my constituents uh, where over 90% of them want to stay in the incorporated area. And I hope that there will be a shift from our board and the city moving forward with Tina Scott and some new energy, uh, that there will be a focus on regionalization with an out-of-service agreement, using some of the county money that the board has set aside, invest and create that pipeline that creates a, uh, a loop system that allows fire protection and safety down there, provides potable water, and in turn that will effectively allow the city of Lakeport and City Hall to reduce water rates for the ratepayers. That's the vision that I have. And I have every faith in Tina that she'll be able to follow that vision and to work through that process. Um, the other issue is structurally balanced budgets. So the board knows we have struggled. We are using one-time money to cover ongoing expenses. We are in a hole. We are in a deficit. And as a, as a taxpayer and resident, uh, my belief and support of the board is to do everything you can to get back on the track, <coughs> to become balanced, and to get that fiscal and conservative and a vision that uh, I think was taught to each and every one of us by Kelly Cox, who uh, was a mentor to me when it came to the budget. Uh, I appreciate the friendships that I had with him, the developing friendship and ongoing with Carol and Anita and our staff. Uh, for me, uh, working with staff uh, and seeing them implement board policy, uh, albeit not always easy, uh, for me was a reward and it was a privilege to see staff and work with them many of which carry on the same mantra and belief that it's a, it's a, it's an honor to be a public servant. It's, it's a still noble calling. And despite what we've seen at the national level and all the drama, uh, I still believe that to be of uh, service is a noble calling. And I, I believe that this board, especially at the local level, best uh, represents that. Uh, we're accessible, uh, we're responsive, albeit there's times that uh, uh, we're not always going to make the decisions that you want. And that's what I learned about this board that I think uh, uh, I've enjoyed the most is that uh, even though there has been divides and at times I've even been confronted with uh, board members um, going against my own candidacy and it's, it's a hard pill to swallow but you learn from that process. Uh, you learn on every Tuesday to come here and working on committees to set that aside and to work together for the greater good. Uh, my kind of parting advice to uh, and Moke for whatever it's worth is just uh, don't take things or make things personal. Uh, never make promises you can't keep. Uh, don't ever commit yourself or pre-commit yourself uh, to anybody that's lobbying you to make a decision. Uh, so reserve those decisions for these very chambers right here. Make those decisions ultimately in the public's eye. Be transparent. Learn to count to three. Uh, and uh, when it comes down to balancing the county's interest, when I say the county, I mean the government uh, and the people's interest, in the end, uh, my, my belief is always best to side with the people's interest. And there's going to be times, more often than not, where it's congruent, where that mission with the county and the people are in harmony. But there's going to be times where uh, you'll find yourself having to make a tough call. Uh, look past that and always side with the people, even though when you get the paycheck, it says County of Lake, is the taxpayers that make your payment, you know, give you your salary. So I thank you all for listening to me. It's been a pleasure and truly an honor to serve. Thank you. Disagreed on things, but we would never disagree with you. I appreciate that. It's been a pleasure to work with you. It's been a pleasure to work with everybody. Good luck in your legal career. I hope that I'm never on the um, Having to hire you will be against you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And Tony, you know, it's been 16 years, believe that. Believe that. Uh, and I think you owe me a lunch. I'm not sure, though. I forgot. <laughs> uh, Tony and I pretty much went to lunch. Um, Quite a few times on Tuesdays, and went one time he paid, another time I paid. So um, it's been a real pleasure serving on the board with you and you know everybody up here. Uh, 
we, uh, I think in the beginning we kind of had a little rocky start. It was uh, definitely fun in a lot of ways, and uh, we definitely learned from it. And I think it made us a lot better as people and as uh, you know, serving the people that we represent. So I appreciate your wisdom and a lot of things I learned from you, and I hope that uh, we shared some things we learned from each other. So I look forward to seeing you in the future and, and you catch it up on the lunches. <laughs> Um, I talked about the, how fast the eight years went by with Jim, and oddly enough, it seems like the 16 years went by quicker. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, I remember um, when we were we were campaigning together at the same time with different with the same people and, and all that. It was just gosh, it was so long ago, but it was yesterday. And and we have you know we've covered a lot of ground and. Um, talk about some of the things that, that you were involved with and us as a board. <laughs> it, it brings to mind as I was looking around the audience, I see all these different people where they were involved in all that. So so all of them have lived it with us and, and uh, hopefully you know, we've, we've met that expectation to some degree at least. But I, I appreciate everything that um, your, your commitment to your community, um, your strong held beliefs, and um, and the folks that we missed that, we, that, that aren't here with us, and, and I, I share that same same sentiment as well, and, and uh, look forward to uh, working with you in the future on, on some issues I'm sure that we can still stay involved with, but uh, for the most part, the 16 years of your life up here is a big, big part of anyone's life, whether you agree or disagree. If you do it for the right reasons and for the reasons that you <coughs> believe in, it's never the wrong reason. So. Um, I can't say that you were ever wrong about anything, even if I disagree with you, because you believe in that. So thank you very much for that service. You know, I, it, you, as you can tell, it's all kumbaya up here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to sing here in a minute. And uh, it's, really, it's really been a good trip for me, two years. And uh, I know these, these fellows really well now. And, and uh, it's a pleasure being up here with uh, Tony and everything he stood for. And one thing that... Um, I did do, I took notes for my next election from Tony because, boy, isn't he good at that? I mean, holy. Uh, he's known even further uh, wide than Lake County. Uh, I'm elected uh, as representative to the California State Association of Counties as sitting on one of the directorships and in the, the Rural County uh, Representatives Association, RCRC. Uh, and when I go to those meetings, they always ask, where's Tony? because they all know him and they know that he represented Lake County very well. Uh, our interests and uh, was always there to let them know that uh, Lake County was participating and wanted something for the rural counties in a state driven by the populated areas. And so, every, uh, you know, you should know that and uh, Tony stands tall, um, at, no matter where he is, but also in RCRC and uh, CSAC, so thanks for that service as well. <coughs> Sure. Tony, come on up. Well, Alexei, this gives me a great deal of pleasure, but I'm going to definitely miss you being on the board. So, this is a proclamation committing Anthony Farrington. Whereas, after 16 years of dedicated service to his community as a member of the Lake County Board of Supervisors, Anthony Farrington will retire from county service on January 3rd, 2017. And whereas during his four terms of county supervisor representing District 4, which includes Lakeport, Scotts Valley, Finley, Lamson Airport area, Island Springs, and part of the Reclamation area near Upper Lake, and a large area of Clear Lake shoreline. Anthony was instrumental in pushing for funding needed to complete the first environmental impact report that would allow the harvesting and treatment of lake weeds. And whereas Supervisor Barrington led efforts to form an animal advisory committee where he advocated for mandatory spay and neutery ordinance as well as a new animal shelter and integrated presentation of animals into the board meeting agendas to generate maximum exposure for adoption. And whereas Anthony Barrington has represented 
the Board of Supervisors, and the County of Lake on numerous committees and boards, including the following. Area Agency on Aging Governing Board, the Lake County <coughs> Coordinated Resource Management Committee, California State Association of Counties, CSAC, Board of Directors, Juvenile, Juvenile Justice Coordinating Council, LAFCO, Public Defender Oversight Committee, Rural County Representatives of California, RCRC, uh, Golden State Finance Authority, RDA Oversight Board for the City of Lakeport, Yolo County 2x2, two two, and where I was throughout his 16 years as a member of the Lake County Board of Supervisors, including his terms as Chair of the Board, Supervisor Farrington has made himself available to members of the public and has effectively represented the public's interests. Now therefore, be it proclaimed that Anthony Farrington is hereby committed for 16 years of dedicated service to the people of Lake County, and that we extend our colleague and friend best wishes, good health, happiness, and success in his law practice in, for the years ahead. You notice how they pulled the mic away from Anthony right away. <laughs> but you don't get close to the mic, Jim. This is just I don't get, that's I don't get it, man. Parting shot. <laughs> okay, the Board of Supervisors, County Lake, State of California. It's a proclamation committee, Jim Comstock. Whereas after eight years of dedicated service to his community as a member of the Lake County Board of Supervisors, Jim Comstock will retire from county service on January 3rd, 2017, and Whereas, during his two terms as County Supervisor representing District 1, which includes the communities of Middletown, Hidden Valley, Lake, Cobb, Lower Lake, and of course, in the city of Lakeport, Jim demonstrated... Clearly, clearly. Uh, did I say... It's not Lakeport. Look here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know I had part of Lakeport. <laughs> I just read that I think we have a small change. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> the city of Cliff. Well, like Jim demonstrated exemplary leadership skills through his participation in the Group Insurance Committee, whereas based on his background and knowledge, he was able to assist in explaining complex and sensitive subjects to the interested parties, and whereas Jim Comstock played an instrumental role in local recovery efforts for the 2015 Valley Fire, the worst, third worst wildfire disaster in the history of California was devastated much of his district, and whereas Supervisor Comstock has represented the Board of Supervisors in the County of Lake on numerous committees and boards, including the following, the Area Planning Council, the Transit Authority, the Abandoned Vehicle Abatement Commission, the Caltrans Deal Committee, the California State Association of County, CSAC, the Board of Directors, the Health Insurance Committee, LAFCO, uh, North Coast EMS, the Rural County Representatives of California, RCRC, and the Golden State Finance Authority, GSFA, and the Prevent Procedures Review Committee, the Classification and Compensation Committee, and Business Loan Committee. And whereas throughout his eight years as a member of the Lake County Board of Supervisors, including his term as chair of the board, Supervisor Comstock uh, was a strong supporter for bringing a VA outpatient clinic to Lake County at a location that could best serve all Lake County veterans and has made himself available to members of the public effectively representing the public's interests. Now, therefore be it proclaimed that Jim Comstock is hereby commended for his eight years of dedicated service to the people of Lake County and we extend our, to our colleague and friend best wishes for good health, happiness, and success in the years ahead. Thank you.
administer uh, oath of office to District 1, District 4, and District 5. Supervisor Bill, and Tina. and defend the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies against all enemies foreign and domestic foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith that I will bear true faith and allegiance and allegiance to the Constitution to the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservations, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion, that I will well, that I will well, and faithfully discharge, and faithfully discharge the duties, the duties upon which I am about to enter, upon, upon which I am about to enter. Supervisors and Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors for 2017, and I'll conduct that election. But before I begin, I just want to say something real brief that how excited I am to begin this fifth term and to work with all of these folks, uh, particularly Moke and Tina. Um, as we, it's, it's easy to reflect on the past, but I choose not to do that because the future is so um, so exciting for me. 2017 and beyond has a lot to offer for Lake County, and I'm just I'm real excited to be a part of it, and I appreciate the, um, the trust that I've been given to, uh, to continue that honor. Um, when, although I will go back a little bit, when I started this, I, I saw Jordan walk in the room, and it reminded me, I talked to Jeff. Jordan was six years old when I started, and he's now 22, and started a family of his own, and I have uh, six grandkids now. I had three kids, now I have five. Um, I don't think that was caused by this office, but, <laughs> but it, it certainly happened, and that's uh, that past is part of my bright future, and I, I'm so grateful for that and for my family to be here. So with that being said, I will um, now um, ask uh, for a motion to um, nomination. For nomination for chair and, and vice chair, and we can do these in separate motions or we can do them uh, the same. And actually, you know, um, I think I'm going to pass the gavel symbolically and make this motion myself if I can allow that. And I'd like to nominate um, Jeff Smith as chair and Jim Steele as vice chair for 2017. And seeing he's passed the gavel, I'll uh, ask if there's any other nominations. Hearing none, I'll uh, motion. Oh, I'm second. Close the motion. Close the motion. Second. Can't get it. Can't get it. Oh, I'll second that. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Opposed? Opposed? Motion carried. Sorry. 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 I guess okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. I'll okay. pass it. Well, I guess I won't pass again. <laughs> okay. We'll take a five minute break and uh, let everybody congratulate everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.